Hey, how you doing? Uh, let's get back to it. I have about half an hour left, so let's continue the story. You finally returned. How was your journey to Dweyun Karst? I see. Oh, okay. No, let me just not tell you anything then. Uh, moon Carver, Mountain Shaper, Cloud Retainer, Conqueror of Demons. Some of these names have never come up in the intel the Fatui gets hold of. As a returning gift, I too have information for you. Regarding the Archon's passing, the Liyue Chising's response really has given me food for thought. They've announced that, as the true killer has not yet been found, they are not allowing anyone to pay their respects to the Exuvia. They've even gone so far as to try and cut off information. But with the right of dissension and all, even the Chising isn't able to keep a lid on things. Exuvia? It's common knowledge in Liyue that Rex Lapis is also an Adeptus. Excuse the train the passing. The Archon is also the god of contracts, and is also known as the Exuvia, prime of the Adepti. The mighty and illuminated Adepti of today all signed contracts to protect Liyue way back then. Guess that explains why they're all so focused on Liyue's well-being. Naturally, they both have the responsibility and the aptitude for the job. If the ruling Qixing became unable to perform their duty properly, the Adepti have the right to take corrective action. The Geo Archon's spirit has risen, so why would the Qixing hide his vessel? Truly suspicious. Hmm, yes, yeah, something is definitely oh, not right. right. He's the whole reason we came here. If the Liyue Qixing has locked up Exuvia and won't let anyone near, then our quest to find the Seven is already over. Oh? You're trying to find the Seven? And just why might that be, pray tell? <laughs> no comment. <laughs> nice answer. A knight that gets duped by the Fatui would really be no knight at all now, would they? But I can help you with that too, you know. Hmm. Really? Give me some time. Time to find someone. Someone who can help you break through this stalemate. Huh. <sighs> Truly fascinating. The harder they try to silence the situation, the greater the chaos that erupts. <laughs> if you want to be around to see it all come crashing down, best you stay alive until we next meet, yes? Yes, yes, we'll do that. No thing kills me. Quest completed. How many primos? Only 30. Ew, no, why is it only 30? Bro, come on. That is unfortunate. Okay. Um, next. This. Navigate. Pretty sure I don't have any other additional quests just yet. I don't think. Oh, sure don't. Wait until the following day. Let us commence waiting. Yep. Yeah. The following day would be something like this, so let's say morning time, I guess. I'm assuming it just means the next day, not like a 24-hour cycle, right? So I would assume. Righty then. Talk to the bank staff. Oh, come on, I gotta get back up there. I already, already came down here, god damn it. What? Come on. <laughs> Let me up. Can I magically get up here? Yes, I can. Yay for it's all characters! Skipping a whole bunch of stairs. Right, 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 let's get in. Andre, manager. Andre, hello, Andre. How you doing, my friend? Tell me about the Northland Bank. I don't really care about the Northland Bank, to be honest, but what I do want to know is if you give me any items, and you don't. Sad life. Welcome, friend hey, what child. up? And congratulations on the first day of your illustrious career with the Fatui. Uh, I don't consider you a child a friend. You remarkably sure of yourself. Remember, we are mere mortals. Our ideas are fluid like water. Only the Tsaritsa truly has a will as solid as the permafrost. That's kind of fucked up. matter at hand. Child tells me that he has upheld his end of your agreement. What agreement? Correct. 
Child promised he would find someone to break the stalemate. And the Harbingers do not break their promises lightly. Ah, oh, where is that guy anyway? Child is currently at Leoli Pavilion. Oh, oh, Paimon knows this one. Ahem. <clears throat> there are two styles of cooking in Leoli. Known as Lee style and Yue style. They have been competing for centuries, but neither has emerged as the clear winner. The flagship restaurant of the Lee style is the Li Li Pavilion. The owner especially chose to open the restaurant at Feiyuan Slope so they could compete face to face with the Xinyue Kiosk, which is the flagship restaurant of the Yue style. You're like this every time we talk Don't about talk food. To Paimon like that. Anyway, Paimon's hungry. Let's get moving. Such conviction. Bloody hell. Farewell, Archaic Welcome Lord. Very well, very well. There is, in fact, a chesty boy up here that I have already taken at my leisure. But, uh, yeah, 200,000 gold up there. Just a uh, easy-ass bank heist. Quite fun. Sadly, I've already used it up. Much, much sadness experienced today. Hey, child, what up, my man? I mean, uh, I, I don't, I don't like you. Aha! You made it. As promised, I have found someone who can help you. Someone who can solve the mystery of why the Liu Chising would hide the Geo Archon's vessel. So where is he? In Liu Li Pavilion? He certainly is. Come, I'll introduce you. I took the liberty of setting up a business dinner, as per the Liu custom. Welcome back, sir. You honor us with your patronage. Mr. Zhongli is awaiting your arrival in the room you booked. Such a warm welcome. Let me in! Let me in, <sighs> boys! Oh, Zhongli. Or actually, Zhong, Zhongli Hi. is how you pronounce his name. Hmm? Also known. As the Geo Archon. Just don't tell anyone, okay? Allow me to introduce it's a secret Mr. Zhongli, between you and consultant me, okay? for an organization known as Wang Shang, and a I trusted associate of the Fatui. <laughs> associate of the Indeed, Fatui? Wang Shang's line of work can be sensitive at times. Let's just say they understand when discretion is needed. And we, the Fatui, have always been glad to do business with friends who walk in the shadows. <sighs> Walk in the shadows? Don't be spooked. They're talking it about ninjas. It is an honor to meet you. I have heard tell of you from Mondstadt. Discretion? Shadows? <sighs> is Wangshan some kind of business involving... dealing with people? Indeed. It is as you have guessed. <sighs> Executions. The funeral parlor organizes burials. We ensure that those who pass on do so in peace. Well, wait, wait! Oh my god, Hu Tao is a part of their team! Yo, let me have her! I want to look at her, she's adorable. <laughs> Nutty. Did you think he was some sort of hired killer? The yes. The calls many such people friends, but the Wang Sheng funeral parlor does not dabble in such business. Well, ostensibly. Ostensibly, another word of which I know well, nothing about. They are still. Uh, I shouldn't say too much. In any case, I brought you to meet Mr. Zhang Li because. Because I can bring you to see Rex Lapis's vessel. What? You're in fact looking at him right now! Oh! <laughs> Don't be so surprised. Sure, the Geo Archon's body has been squirreled away by order of the Tian Chuan Ning Guang. But first. Let's hear what Mr. Zhongli has to say, shall we? Rex Lapis may be the prime of Adepti, but he is ultimately an Adeptus. Many Adepti have left us over the millennia. This is the inexorable trend. The times have changed. You must have felt it too when you were at Jueun Karst. 
Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yes, that's true. The Adepti are staying away from As Liyue. As you have seen, the time of the Adepti is ending, and the time of mankind is slowly dawning. Quite unfortunate, honestly. I gotta admit, we're kind of shit. In years shit. past, Liyue's tradition was that a huge memorial service be held to mark the passing of every Adeptus. But this time, the Qixing have made no attempt whatsoever to respect this tradition. It is sacrilege. I agree. I agree. Well, they do have a, a deicide to deal with. Yes, I know this word. It is the killing of a god. A deity and genocide combined into a single word. Quite interesting, is it not? For a foreigner such as yeah, myself. The killer hasn't even been caught yet. Deicide or not, the concern of the Wangsheng funeral parlor is this. When the ritual to receive this god is so kingly, it is all the more egregious for his final send-off to go unattended to. Traveler, Child has told me a lot about you. Since you have had dealings with the Animo Archon, could I ask you to help me prepare the Geo Archon's last rites? A wise I accept decision. your invitation. The Tianchuan Ningguang has forbidden anyone from accessing Rex Lapis's vessel, which of course you would need to access if you were to achieve your goal of meeting all of the seven. Precisely. Only by participating in the rite of parting will you be able to see the form of Rex Lapis again. Looks like there's no other if choice. If we are agreed, come with me. We will speak of the details as we walk. All right, let's go, Zhongli. All right, let us depart. Work here is done. Turned out well, didn't it? Ah, yes, quite. Thank you for introducing me to a you literal can go god. If you want to. Don't worry about me. I might just have a few more drinks and get acquainted with these things they call chopsticks. In the meantime, don't you use two of them to fight? <laughs> uh, you'll get that reference later. All right, let's get out of here. Off we go. Zhongli, let's go. After having experienced the land of the absentee Archon, Traveler, how does it feel to know that our Archon and Adepti are here all around you in Liyue? Hmm... Do I like having somebody constantly looking over my shoulder? Not really, but I also like Indeed. order, so Liu is better. The weight of 3,700 years worth of history runs deepest in the true divinity of Liu. Also, traditions. I like them, sometimes. Unless they're dumb. Organizing the rite of parting should prove to be an enlightening part of your travels. Liu is the most prosperous of the Seven Nations. Defended by deities and ruled by the Qixing. As such, the diplomatic maneuverings of the Fatui have gained no purchase here. Ningguang of the Qixing has always been on her guard against the Fatui. That is in all likelihood why Child wants to make use of the Wangsheng Funeral Parlor's connections. Huh. What would Child get out of us doing the rite of parting anyway? I neither know nor do I wish to know. As far as I am concerned, the Fatui are merely financial sponsors. I only wish for Liyue's traditions to endure. These are the funds that Child has provided. If you use them up, you can go to him to apply for any subsequent funding. Wow! Well then, let us be off. The first step in our preparations shall be to obtain some prize Noctilucus Jade worthy of a deity. Let us get to it then. A massive fetch quest! Let's go! Fucking love poor fetch quests, boys. Nothing better. Nothing better. I'm lying, of course. I fucking hate. I fucking hate cool fetch quests, dudes. I fucking hate them. Let me just take a look at something. Uh, if I wanna send you, how many more of these do I need? Three. Okay, cool. Let me see if I can make a couple. I can make precisely three of them. Sweet! 
Good, good, brilliant, brilliant. What about these? Can make only eight of them. And let me see, what else do I wanna see here? I think I need a couple of these later. Speaking of which, can I farm these? Uh, today is not Wednesday, today's Tuesday. Okay, cool. Very well then, that is all the information I require. So, when I hit 40, I'll be able to ascend him somewhat. Do I have 12 of these things? Let me swa. What are we talking about here? Is it? It's this one. Do I have 12? I do not. Oh, shit. Bonk! Okay, that's 37. Now that turns to... Bonk! Okay, that's 11. Okay, sweet. Actually, that's perfect now. Let me get some of this. Okay. Now this leaves me with nothing but these boys. Okay, so all I gotta do is kill the cry register find a billion times. Awesome. Hey, hey, what what are you doing? Oh, side quests. I'll be doing side quests later without you guys looking at me, okay? I'm not gonna waste you guys' time. To the Jade mystery, my good friends. Would you like to try your luck betting on Jade? This could be your lucky day. Betting, gambling. You know, <laughs> you know me it's too cheap well. And it's fun, and who knows? You just might strike it rich. Betting? No, no. We're here for um. What was it again? Noctil Lucas Jade, of radiant grade at the very least. Radiant grade, Noctil Lucas Jade. I see. You're not a tourist. My apologies. I have some here for your perusal. What do you think? The Jade Mystery is an old name in the Jade business. Just look at that wonderful quality. Rex Lapis doesn't often bless us with such finery. Go on, pick whichever- These three pieces really do look pretty. Not like the ones you usually dig up. But how do we pick? Should we just grab one and go? Hmm... A man who makes his living of betting on stones can't be trusted so lightly. Very good. It seems you have learned some tricks of the trade. What do you think, Mr. Zhongli? How should we pick from these pieces of Noctiluca's Jade? Oh? You want me to decide? That is fine as well. If it were me, the answer would be simple. Oh? And that would be... Buy all of them. them all, boss. Yep. Oh, yep. you mm -hmm. act with such panache, good sir. I always knew you were not a man of ordinary caliber. Oh, wait, wait, boss. That one didn't count. We need to discuss it again. Zhongli, you broke bastard. Are we wasting three times the more if we buy them all? Mm, two times the oh. more. Mora. Hmm. Hmm. Yes, it is hmm, as you indeed. Say. I suppose I overlooked this particular aspect of the transaction. Huh? How do you not think about Mora when buying things? He makes it out of thin air. If one air. must always consider Mora before acting, then in all things one is bound by Mora. Uh, what? All Mora is currency, but not all currency is Mora. My guy speaking in metaphors over what? here. What? Paimon, don't worry about it. Is this how the rich live? He's not well, rich at all. He knows a lot about big money. But not a lot about big savings. No need to waver. Even when I am constrained by Mora, I have ways of working around my limitations. Evaluating the quality of Noctilucus Jade is indeed very tricky. As crude ore, there is little difference in texture, lustrousness, and internal pattern between good and bad jade. Only after the item made using Noctilucus Jade has taken shape, Will you be able to see whether it is up to par or not? If you return to those crafty merchants to quibble, they will counter by saying that your crafting bench is to blame, or that your heat control was poor. Whoa! To think it's that easy to get cheated! 
But there is a way to truly evaluate this jade. And a true insider would know it. A fool sees the pointer and misses the moon. What does that mean? If you point at the moon with your finger, a wise man knows that you are pointing at the moon, while a fool will only see the finger, the patterns, the facade. These are all the finger. Noctilucus Jade is a mystical stone used to light up the darkness, and so its brightness is the important thing. It is the moon. They couldn't make this guy speak any fucking slower. I swear to God, it's literally wasting minutes of my time. <laughs> Jade of excellent quality would have superior pyro affinity. In other words, the bluer and brighter the luster of the ore under high temperature. I have imparted the priceless seek. Priceless. Okay, I can't. I can't fucking. I can't take it. Okay. I can't take it. I can't take. It's too much dialogue of pure banality. Okay, I can't. I can't take it. Burn them? You can't do that, my friends. That would small well, samples. Fine. How about this? I can take a small sample of all three. I'll take a bit of a loss. Uh, we'll count it as a friendly gesture. Don't worry. I know the rules. As long as. All right. Don't worry about it. Okay, we'll just burn a little bit and we'll uh, we'll be we'll come back to buy. And tag them to boot. So thin. Even paper's thicker. No, even a bug's wings are thicker. These are almost see-through. Impressive handiwork. <laughs> oh, you flatter me, but I have to be gentle with these rocks. They are my pride and joy. If I'd taken off even a bit more, it, <laughs> it would have killed me. But wouldn't something this thin go poof if we held it to the fire? It can't be helped. Trying to deprive a merchant of his profits would be like forcing a ravenous wolf to vomit up the food in its stomach. Nonetheless, under the right conditions, these thin slices will serve. What sort of conditions? While we add the high temperatures using pyro, we can use hydro to reinforce it from within. This way, the samples will not disintegrate immediately. Okay, boil it at high temperatures. Cool, got it. Strictly speaking, Asking for samples when we have not yet agreed to purchase the goods is unfair. Trade in Liyue must be based upon fairness. Well, guess we just need to find a place to try this out. To Dadopa Gorge. Well, Paimon remembers we once saw this big pot down at the Dadaupa Gorge in the camp of the hilly churls from the Meaty tribe. It's real sturdy and should be able to take the elemental reactions. Yes, 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 yes. Now, let's pack those samples up and make a move. Pack them up. Let, just put them in your pocket, bro. Let us departé to see a little bit of combat right before not seeing any more combat ever at all. Sad life. Sad, sad life. I want to drink some milk, dude. I want to drink some fucking milk. Okay? You don't get it. I want some milk. Up we go. Yeah. It has been a long Mushroom. time since I last set foot in the Nation of Wind. A friend of mine from Mondstadt would always bring a few bottles of locally brewed dandelion wine whenever he came to visit me in Liyue. It must be said that the famed liquor of the land of Pastorals is far better than Sumeru's frigid snake wine. Oh. Yo! Yeah, wait, what? But it's a hundred percent. How do I have a chest here that has yet to be taken? Oh, what is this? What are these magics? And I thought I've completed all of it. It looks like the hilly trolls are still using it. It's a good boy. What a buddy. Hey, get over here. What you doing over there, man? Come here. You too. Hey, yo, Piggy. No, Piggy, please. Fuck. 
God damn it. I missed out on my piggies. Unfortunate. There's still soup in here. These hilly trolls sure have big appetites. Um it's our lab now. could be used as our hydro elemental protection. Let's fire it up and begin our experiment. I think my computer is freaking out. We're ready to go. Paimon will help remember which it's one other... of the three is which. Use Pyro to I think... keep making the pot hotter until we get the results we need. I think it's either coil wine or one of the one of the fans is freaking out. Can't quite tell. Mr. Zhongli said that the shinier and bluer the orchids, the better it is. So, pay close attention. All right, right, bomb on. I got it. I got it. Don't worry about it. Okay. Bonk. Can I, can I switch my character? Thank you. Whoa! That light came from the first knock to Lucas Jade. Wow, so cool. Hilly trolls are surrounding us again. Were they attracted by the light? Such nosy neighbors. Let's take care of them and continue again after. Hmm. Well, let me smack you off of there. Real quick, thanks. Infused Pyro! That light came from the second knock to Lucas J, didn't it? More hero trolls? They don't give up, do wow. they? Looks like they're mad that we ruined their food! Bomb! I'm trying out a new composition with Chung Yun instead of uh, KM. Seems to be working out okay. The shatters, the the shatters and melts and vaporizes kind of end up doing more damage more consistently. I feel like. Oh, that's bright! Too bright! <sighs> wow. That was the fed knock to Lucas Jade, wasn't it? Yeah, 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 yeah. That is most precise. Let's go with that one. Let's head back to the Jade Mystery to buy some Jade, shall we? Sure, let's go, let's go. Wait, are we just leaving the other Jade over here? We could sell it! We can fucking sell it! Let me zoom in. Yere yere does he. Alright, alright, let's complete this thingy thing. You're back, my friends! I've kept the goods for you. Which of them would you like? Number exactly. three. That's the one Paimon remembers too. No problem. If you have your eye on this one, you can have it. Then we'll take a box of the third type of jade. Done. All the same, uh, pardon me for asking, but I'm curious. Whatever do you need this much top quality Noctilucas jade for? Hmm. I suppose it would not hurt to tell you. We need them to make implements for the rite of parting. Parting? Oh, dear. I I'd heard the rumors, but had given much thought to them. This... This means that Rex Lapis really is... Oh, it's hard to believe. Even though the Jade Mystery has been in decline, we have always been under his protection. It is said that when our lord lost his way while going incognito in the city 200 years ago, it was a spoon from the Jade Mystery that he had used to sample the local delights. Alas, alas, all things must pass. <sighs> well, if this is to be used to say farewell to Rex Lapis, then I shall sell this to you at half the price. Wow, what a sure? deal. You didn't want to even give us an inch before. If not for our Lord's protection, this city wouldn't exist as it does now. No proprietor could earn money off such a thing. Mm, how very noble of you, I gotta admit. I'm just this mature. Oh, Thank you. I'm sure Rex Lapis will feel your sentiment, boss. In the safe hands of the Liu Achising and good honest merchants such as yourself, 
I, for one, believe that Liyue will continue to prosper, as it always has done. All right. Thank you, my friends. What's with me getting all sentimental like this? I'll practically be giving away all my fortune at this rate. Now that we've made our choice, let's take this Noctilucus Jade back. Hey, wait a minute! Let us. We said it was half price, not that we could leave without paying. Oh, right, I'm sorry. I must have forgotten to do that too. Let me see. As I thought, I didn't bring any. Any what? Mora. My apologies. Another oversight on my part. A local of Leo who doesn't have uh, oh, money in their mind. Do. Quite a rare sight. some small sum. Oh, wait! Didn't Child give us some advanced funds earlier? Ah, but he did. I have him on me. That's a relief. Have a look. What? I didn't skip it. God damn it, it's game! Fine. Just enough for half price. <laughs> Though to be honest, it'd be all right even if the sum wasn't quite enough. Well, it's settled then. Let's take this jade to Eugene Terrace. That's where we plan to hold the right. Look at you bossing everyone around. You didn't cough up a single Mora. More money, please. <laughs> Bring it. I will do my best. You have my thanks. You can literally make it out of nothing. Do not forget it, boy. All right, boys. Thanks for uh, thanks for watching. I'm uh on my head out for a little bit and uh, record some more tomorrow. Yeah, cool, cool. So, uh, see you later. Thanks for watching. And, uh, bye bye. <laughs>